Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today we're going to be checking out the new Holiday Scorched Rewards. And truth be told, I am in Fallout Worlds, because that was the easiest way to go ahead and get all of them. I did not get lucky enough with the gift wrap I had saved. So, a lot of cool stuff. Of course, I feel like the rug is going to be one of the main things people go after. I don't know, something about it just seems a little bit off. But, I did notice something pretty darn cool that I think I'm going to mess around with in my camp at some point. And that is to have it on the ceiling. Mind you, Nuka Cola is going to be backward, but I don't know. Something about having that on the ceiling, maybe with a light in the middle of it, it might look pretty darn cool. I don't know, it's something I got to fiddle around with. But there is a lot of cool stuff that they've included this time around. But, of course, as usual, I want to get into what the drop rates are for these things. Now, the drop rate on all of these is going to be the exact same. So it's not like one piece is going to be easier to get than another. But let's get into it. So, we're going to start off with the holiday gifts that you get out in the world off of a Scorched. So, a small holiday gift, you're coming in at a little under 0.2%. A medium, you're coming in at around three-fourths of a percent. So, you're right around that area. Now, when you go up to a large, you're actually going up just a, a smidge over one and a half percent. So, really not super great, but there's a chance. But really, your odds go up when you go to Handmade. Now, if you're not aware, of course, Handmade, what you gotta do, you gotta go to a train station, go into the miscellaneous, buy some wrapping paper, hit up your Tinkerer workbench, and start making holiday gifts. A small is gonna come in just under 0.4%. It's actually double the odds that you had over in the stuff you would find in the world. A medium is going to bump you up to a little over 1.5%. You actually have the same odds with a medium handmade that you have with a large present that you would find out in the world. So that is pretty cool. Now a large handmade it's coming in at 2.3%, roughly. Which is kind of weird for the fact that both the small and medium, when you compare a hand handmade gift to the one you find in the world, the handmade is twice the odds. Whereas the large isn't. So, I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, because if you're going after handmade gifts, you're way better off picking up medium gift wrap than getting the high quality gift wrap. I mean, you're just way better off. I mean, because that, that expensive gift wrap is very expensive, and it adds up fast. You will get way more tries out of medium. But that's enough about that. Let's get back to the items because I really want to talk about the water cooler. Because that thing is freaking cool. Because we finally have a way of getting water that doesn't have to be stuck in the freaking dirt. It looks cool. It'll work in a bunch of different camp builds. I mean, this might be the most interesting item out of all the new stuff. I do like the fence. The fence is pretty darn cool. I can't wait to get that and mess around with it. But that water cooler is pretty darn special. But that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.